The Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. We're talking about an Arctic cold front that has swept through the valley. Much colder air will be arriving today, but in the meantime, we have to talk about some leftover snow that has been passing through through the overnight. We do have some light snow still down across portions of Monroe County, just now moving out of Owen and Greene counties, Ellettsville to Bloomington, down near Harrodsburg. That's where we're seeing some slight uh, light snow out there right now. Same deal down in Washington, southern portions of Davies County exiting out of Knox County this morning. Nonetheless, everyone's still dealing with that ongoing cloud cover. Still could see some light snow. Blowing snow will become a concern. This is very light. Temperatures have been very cold and with that, any wind at all is going to pick that snow up, blow it around, reduce visibility and recover services that have already been plowed or at least uh, shoveled. So keep that in mind. The snow is wrapping up, but the wind stays strong and it just turns colder today. Winter weather advisory in effect through all of our Indiana counties, with the exception of Vermilion Park through 10 o'clock this morning. Temperatures outside right now already starting to drop. We've already achieved our daytime high temperature of 20. That was at midnight. We're down to 12 right now. Six in Mattoon, 14 in Casey, 14 in Robinson, 15 in Vincennes. Much colder air will continue to build in through the course of the day. Here's your day planner. Again, I'm not expecting widespread snow ongoing through the afternoon. Perhaps a few flurries. That's going to be just about it. Not much adding on to our totals. We picked up about an inch here in Terre Haute, and I do expect that to begin to wrap up here within the next few hours. Notice your temperatures. We're going to be back into the single digits already by 8 a.m. Back to 6 by noon. 4 at 4 o'clock, and we're talking just above zero by by 8 p.m., a 2 degree temperature shows you that much colder air is certainly on its way in. Again, 12 here in Terre Haute. Now winds coming in out of the north northwest at 10 miles per hour. That being factored into our wind chill equation makes it feel more like one below. There's that Arctic cold front as it passes on through. We are going to start to see the snow event wrapping up. Snow actually became pretty widespread through the overnight, so do be cautious when you hit the roads this morning. There is a fresh coating of light snow out there if it has not been treated just yet. So keep that in mind. You might need some extra time to get to your destination this morning. Now we're focusing on that cold blast of air that will be moving in for our afternoon. Future cast beginning at 6 o'clock this morning shows us that a bulk of that snow is going to be out of here. We'll keep the chance for a few flurries, perhaps another very light snow shower through the afternoon. But beyond that, it stays fairly cloudy and the colder temperatures definitely move in for us. Wind chill advisory goes into effect this morning, lasting all the way through tomorrow morning, that's all for the everyone here in the Wabash Valley. Overnight lows tonight, drastically colder. We're dipping back near four below here in Terre Haute. A forecast low in Robinson tonight, a four below, five below down in Vincennes. And wind chill temperatures even colder, forecasting lows near 20 below, 19 below for that wind chill. That's through the overnight into our Thursday. While Thursday will be a dry day, we'll keep a partly cloudy sky around. Keep in mind that cold Arctic air sticks around. Talking daytime highs on Thursday, only near 5 degrees. Come Friday morning, we'll build more cloud cover back in. Could even see a few light snow showers coming in on Friday. And that's going to set us up for the weekend. Temperatures slightly rebounding back into the 30s. So your forecast diet today, we were at 14 just an hour ago, already falling winds pick up and that light snow does look to continue. Seven day forecast keeps that Arctic blast in through the end of the week and into the weekend. You notice 35 on Saturday could see a brief wintry mix with that system. And then some light snow continues through Sunday as much colder air once again moves back in for the first part of next week.